Well, this won't be exciting as a camping video, but I got a SEPA oil filtration plant, which, well, I got, they got an alarm, but they don't even know what it is, so I'm going to activate the device here and see, uh, see if anything happens with the manual. Get this coffee out of the way and then have a look at the transformer cell where there's a lot of uh, oil. That's the so-called weir. The greasy water comes in there, gets separated out. The coffee color is uh, a mixture of oil so that it gets all separated. If there is too much it gets floated through these holes here in the receptors. The soup underneath the transformateur needs to go into uh, the receptor. Go ahead and drain things there. Doesn't affect any power anyway, so it's just water. <coughs> and it's on the other side. Find the grating and let's see if we can get it to flow. Bingo, I found it. Tripod with me. I'm gonna poke it up with a stick, see if we can clean it up a bit. Also, this is not a post 10 video, but it's uh, water is always interesting. That gets sucked up by the pumping device that's sitting here. And we'll see if the colors are changing. This reservoir, the all gets separated from the water. Very clever system, so you have clean water, it can get released. Almost looked like the color of Jupiter. It's beautiful to see the movements in here. So 
over this excess sludge that gets over this edge, comes in this well here, it's got some of a zoo on the other side. That sludge, you can probably see it, comes out of here, gets stored in here. If there's an excess old spill, there isn't a limit switch on this side, we'll hold tip the device off. Oh, there's a spider, a dead spider as well. And this is the suction pit which collects all the water. I'm not going in there. Find space. The part goes in there, goes through the pump, gets pushed up there, goes into the device there, goes through the filtration pass. The discharge goes here. It's goes in the creek and it's clean. Let me use out a little bit. That's enough for now. It needs to be water blasted. Mainly the leaves causing a blockage. From there goes in the reservoir, which is the collecting metal tank. And if you can see it, I'm not sure. Got these two blue bowls. The lower one is now hanging low, so it's clear the alarm. So yeah, I'll hang around for a bit longer. Let it suck out. Go back home and have a coffee. Comfortably. Aluminium, I used to it. I haven't got all the fancy tools for this because I'm an electrician. So. Back to rain again. Oops. Now, yeah. that pipe is supposed to be connected up to the CPAD device, the exit of that pipe, put the defect in there and I see the electric fence wires broken through at the lower part. The fence is not happy either, so I'll see, I'll have a quick look see if we can fix that problem. See you on the guys, Fence wire broken here. Connectors that had a crimp here. It, it can't, can't really crimp aluminium wire, so I can tension it up. I'm going to tension this wire up and then uh, see if we can do makeshift repair on this device here. I've done a rough Westy style makeshift repair. Let's see if that's okay. And the wire looks pretty good now. And there's a broken bracket here. It's broken here. I'll put a cable tie on it so it should be okay. It should suffice for now. I'm going to clear some branches. See if 
the alarm clears in a just device. I think that looks good, that sounds happy. Cool, fixed. I think I analyzed the fence was happy, I hear it arcing and I now see there's a lock missing. Pull this in. Arcing stops. I'm going to apply a lock on this. Another good mix. Oh, of course I forgot to put Problem sorted. I didn't change anything here, but that's alright. Still seems to be ticking heavily.